What's going on everybody? Israel Galindo here from Advanced Networks. I hope you guys are doing great out there and I just kind of wanted to show you below the pane right here. Internet Explorer 11 is finally retiring on June 15th, 2022. What does that mean for your work, your business and everything else? Well, let's get to it right now. What we're talking about is the Internet Explorer 11. Internet Explorer is usually the little E that you see on your Windows computers. It's not affect Mac any way, shape, or form. So in regards to showing you that, let me kind of break over to that screen. What we're talking about is we're going from the Internet Explorer E to Edge. Nobody likes to use Edge, not in our world anyways. We use Chrome, we use Mozilla. We use all of these other types of browsers except Edge. We just don't like Edge. But unfortunately, Microsoft is saying you need to get rid of it. So we're going to have to go and change that. Now, why even go there? Let me just give it the short and simple. A lot of financial websites and websites that need security are not secure in Internet Explorer 11 and prior. So a lot of these older banking websites you still use those to go into login to check your city and state websites and financial websites, etc. But now the security has been updated, we can no longer use IE, Internet Explorer. We must use Edge. Microsoft is forcing everybody to use Edge. Now, that being said, after June 15th, what happens? Well, what's going to happen is when you hit those websites, it's just going to tell you that they're not compatible anymore and you're not going to be able to use it. You're going to call your bank. You're going to call your institutions that are still using that. And when you do, they're going to say, sorry, Microsoft just blocked that use. Now, it is also up to the companies that have these websites that you go to and logins to update themselves to the latest plugins latest edge, latest browser. A lot of these websites, you will notice that you can go into those websites using other browsers, but there's still a few out there that are not compatible and won't be compatible until that vendor or that customer moves forward into that technology. For you guys, if you just don't want to use Edge, you're just going to have to try to use another browser. And if it's not compatible, you will notice right away that it's not going to work. So, how do you fix it? How do you make Internet Explorer work still in Edge like it did before in Internet Explorer? Well, it's not that difficult to do. So we're going to take you through that right now. Now, there is another way that we could do it, but we're going to take you the easy way since this is what we want to do here on that. We're going to go over to our Windows computer here really quick. And we're going to show you how we are going to do that. Now, again, this is going over Internet Explorer conversion to Edge. We're migrating. When you open any of your websites, you're going to be opening them in Edge, but it's still going to be using a compatibility of Internet Explorer so it can still work in the new browser. I want to make that clear for everybody to know. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to open up edge on the page and just to show you from beginning we're going to hit the little three dots on the right hand side now one of the things being said is you must have the latest version so make sure you got windows updates running on your computer and you've got the latest version of ie's edge in that so otherwise you're not going to see the menus that i'm about to show you when you hit the little three dots you're going to go over to settings under settings, we're going to go over to browsers on the left hand side. When we go to browsers, you're going to see this Internet Explorer compatibility. Again, if you do not have the latest version of Edge, you're not going to see this. So make sure you do have those Windows updates and you have that happening. Do you need to make Edge your default browser if you use Chrome and Mozilla and everything else? No, you do not. But if you're using certain sites that require Internet Explorer and now Edge, you will need to do that. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to select the default under allow sites to be reloaded in Internet Explorer mode, and you're going to hit allow. Once you hit allow, it's going to want to save the settings. The way Edge does that is it restarts the browser. So we're just going to hit restart on the browser. Once it comes back, it's now allowing any incompatible sites to open on that. How do you know if your site was incompatible and how do you know? Well, just pull up any of your old sites. In the example, a lot of people use 
Citibank to log in to their financial institution. Citibank is one of those sites that still requires IE's browser experience. In this example, we are going to make sure that we can make that happen. So this is a trial and error by your sites to make sure they work or do not work. One of the things we're going to do is when you go to the site, you're going to try to log in like you normally would. If you get in with no issues, there's nothing else you need to do. If you type it in and it says this browser is not supported, then what you got to do is you got to hit the little three dots on the right hand side and you're going to go three quarters of the way down to reload in Internet Explorer mode. Now, the reason why I'm telling you to do that, do you have to do that every time? No, there's a little button that we're going to toggle in a minute. Once you click this, you're going to get this menu that's going to come up and say this is going to reload in compatibility mode for Internet Explorer mode, which is IE mode. This is basically the, the term word that you're going to see all over social media. So what we're going to do is we're going to toggle this that it always needs to open in Internet Explorer mode, compatibility mode, the next time it opens. So you don't have to keep doing this over and over and over. Now, you'll have to do this to all the sites that you're currently working with. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to hit done and it's going to open it. In that now as you can see right now it says you are in Internet Explorer mode that means I'm having edge open but I'm having the Internet Explorer experience so I can use this site as I need to this also goes to sites like DVR sites banking sites financial sites um, sites for your state and federal as I already mentioned some older IRS sites are requiring that as well um, I'm trying to pull up, here it is, here's actually another site that I wanted to show you really quick. This is your security camera system. You can use uh, Hike Vision and other type DVR devices, especially like if you buy a lot of these DVR devices that are older that never get updated, that need Internet Explorer mode because of ActiveX and things like that. Things like that will allow you to then change compatibility mode and how to switch it. This is really giving you the same example that I just showed you which is really going into that mode for those. Again, going back to changing it on here, does it stay in compatibility mode? No, no, if I happen to go to another website, you'll notice that I am not in compatibility mode. It's only gonna be in this site that I suggested and it keeps it in there. Once your financial institution or website has fixed their issues of moving forward to the latest technology, we no longer need that. I can just hit open in edge mode and it will remember to open in edge mode for future. That really is the key to making sure that by this date in 28 days, 13 hours, 31 minutes and 42 seconds, this Internet Explorer mode will go away. And this is something that Microsoft has been pushing for over a year. If you're somebody that goes, well, you know, it doesn't matter. I don't use um, Internet Explorer. That's totally fine. But if you do have those websites that you have to hit, now you know how to switch from that into a compatibility IE mode in Edge. Follow those steps. If you have any questions, comments, please let us know. We're happy to help. Israel Advanced Networks, I'll talk to you on the next one.